Hello, I'm Rick, this is Certifiably In Game, and this is Devoid, a small little sci-fi game I picked up on Steam. The premise of it is basically it's a missing colony and I've come to investigate what's going on here. Hence the title, Devoid, I'm guessing. So, I've not made any progress as such. I am starting a new game. Start a new game, yes, my previous progress consisted of mucking around with audio levels and graphical settings. Let's go. When we travel in space for a wormhole, do we really travel into the future or back in time? Can we really leave one planet behind when we initiate a space jump? Where do our memories go when we bend time? All very big and deep questions. For someone that drinks strawberry milk, is that? I have no idea what that is. Okay. Well, that's a very Spartan bunk, isn't it? No covers. Probably cut. What the hell was that? Okay, it's the door. Fair enough. Okay, from Rachel Park to Elizabeth Woolgather. I'm guessing that person narrating at the start was Elizabeth Woolgather, so I'm probably Lizzie. Okay, I've been dreaming again of before, back home on Earth. I've been attending to the neurotech treatments, as you suggested, but honestly I'm concerned. They may be making my symptoms worse. You told me to reach out if I needed anything, and right now, more than anything, I need guidance, respectfully. Lieutenant Park. Lieutenant Park. Hmm. Neurotech treatments. Okay, so I'm either a researcher or a doctor or something like that. It's a researcher, the sort of person who sends to explore a missing colony. I mean, I presume I know I'm. I know everyone's missing. It's uh, mentioned in the Steam description. That's my ship. Okay, so this is the place we've arrived on. Oh, okay. Wait, is this a station? Are we in orbit? Are we in orbit? Are we on a space station or... So we can see a giant planet there, but that could be a moon or something. I don't see a floor. Then again, I'm also not dying in the vacuum of space, and I seem to be walking normally. Oh! Okay. I thought the floor gave up, mind me then. What do we have here? A protocol kiosk. As well as... Uh... Data, because this is what data looks like. This is exactly. Are you experiencing feelings of deep existential anguish? <laughs> All the damn time. A deep sense of insignificance. Yes, but not that anybody cares. Intense periods of anger. How dare you accuse me of that? Increased sexual drive? Well, wouldn't you like to know? You may be suffering from Planet Loss Syndrome. Visit your local Neurotech station now today. Okay, that was what the letter was about. Can I interact with any of this? No, I can't. Greetings, Human Resources Associate 8538, Elizabeth Woolgather. Security Clearance Level 3. I'm Protocol Unit W1LC0. You may call me Wilco. Very How may I help you? Where is everyone? I do apologize, ma'am, but I'm afraid I don't know. You don't know? Can you give me a general status report? Protocol scans are returning a number of anomalous instances within Remora and its accompanying surface colony. I'm afraid something may be very wrong. May I ask you a question, ma'am? Yeah, go ahead. What is your current directive? Sorry, Wilco. That's classified. Bitch. 
Indeed. Given the circumstances, perhaps I could request that you assist me. I believe that if I were restored to full functionality, then I could assist you in turn. All right, Wilco. It's a deal. Most excellent. You have my sincerest gratitude. Don't mention it. What do you need me to do? All of the protocol kiosks in the area are hardwired to the central hub in the communication center. That hub connects me to Amy, but it is possible Who's that a connectivity Amy? error has occurred, thus limiting my functionality. All right. I'll head to the comm center. Log entry. So, okay, apparently my mission is classified. Yeah, bitch. Stop asking me about it. I have to head to the comm center to check if there are any network errors in the central hub. All right. Left or right, left or right, is this one? Yes, there we go. So the game looks quite basic, texture-wise. But I'm hoping the narrative picks up on it. I mean, it seems to be an intriguing world. So far. Alright, so I'm on the lookout for a comm sensor. What is that? Oh! What do you reckon this is? Well, there seems to be gravity, so it's not a gravity generator of some sort. You know, like IRL space stations. Power generator? Like dynamo, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll find out as we go. Message from Dr. Alexander Lassort. Okay. Anna, we ran the full battery of tests. You're not going to like this. As far as the scanners are concerned, the vapor isn't there. It doesn't return on any metric we throw at it, and it doesn't even show up on camera. It's as if it has no physical properties at all. But if that's true, how can we see it? Some sort of vapor that's visible, yet can't be detected. I wonder if they're talking about... Maybe. Ooh. Major, one of the colonists took a shuttle to An Ankyra? Ankyra, it's got to be Ankyra. Without authorization, the security says she was headed for the artifact. There's always an artifact in these space games, isn't there? She shouldn't have even known about it. They wouldn't let her into the dig site, and they had to shoot her. <laughs> oh, fucking bloody hell. And they had to shoot her when she wouldn't stand down. Well, that escalated. Everyone's worried about an information leak and I'm getting lots of sideways looks. It's time for me to jet out of here back to Syncorp HQ. I'll be gone by 0400 to the day after tomorrow. Don't let the cleanup team show up early. Regards, Reuben. From Reuben to Dimitri. Ankira dot col colony. Ankira, Ankira. Kyra. And Kyra colony. Hmm. Ah, yes. More data. Okay, so there's a, some sort of cover up conspiracy and naturally some sort of ye olde artifact that's been brought up from probably. I'm going to suggest the planet or that moon over here and brought over here and. some sort of nefarious things gone awry. Angira, our little slice of heaven. Alright. Well, if this is Angira, this is, um... I think they have the legal base for a lawsuit of false advertising. Because this place sure don't look like that. A breath of fresh air. I'll take your word for it. A glowy red generator over there. And uh, a lot of hubs. What do you reckon a dock? I don't know. Hmm. 
No, more terminals. Attention all Sector 2 personnel. As of now, the Megalodon is considered a level 4 restricted area. Megalodon. To be strictly enforced. Please report all suspicious activity to security immediately. Any staff members experiencing psychological discomfort are advised to report to Neurotech as soon as possible for a full checkup. Stay vigilant and help keep us all safe and productive. Kirilenko, out. The Megalodon. Spaceship, because the megalodon was a giant prehistoric shark, and the only thing that I can think of that's shark related would be, or shark shaped, might be a, a kind of spaceship. Several staff members have reported hearing unexplained voices, a phenomenon we have long suspected to be associated with extended exposure to the subject. Subjects. If you experience anything of this sort, we ask that you record the time and the location, as well as any audible verbal data. In the coming weeks, we will be using AMBER in an attempt to analyse this phenomenon. AMBER, another acronym. Okay, so we have Wilco, we have Amy, and we have AMBER. Lots of acronyms. Wilco is the interface, I guess. Amy is connected to Wilco, so I'm guessing it's a processing unit. Like computer hub, maybe. And AMBER... Sounds like some sort of diagnostics software or something. Oh, no. Maintenance substation. Okay, so mashing my face against doors. No, okay. Can't get in. Is that a door? Can I get up here? I don't think there's a jump button. No, I don't think there is. Oh, glowy lights. What does that say? Sector 3. This may be the way to go, or something. Oh, hang on, there's a... Is that the comm room? What do you reckon? No, that's got to be the comm tower, look at it. All them dishes all over it, that's got to be the comm. Oh. What is that? It's either some sort of weird reactor thing, or it's a Christmas tree with just red LEDs on it. Just the red ones. No other colours. Don't want to be too festive. Solar Rix Enterprise, pioneers of deep space exploration. Deep Space Enterprise. I don't get the uh, reference. Answer the call with Solarix Inc. Exploration is human nature. Couldn't agree more. Dr. Pickman, we have reason to believe that there is an intelligence leak in your department. You are hereby ordered to halt all activity and abandon the laboratory until further notice. There's a security detail reporting to Sector 2 in 12 hours. Don't be there when they arrive. Kirilenko out. Sector 2. Okay, so it looks like a woman got to the artifact, was killed. She shouldn't have known about it, so they thought it might have been a security leak. And they responded with force. Is that a spaceship? The Megalodon, I presume? It's vaguely shark-shaped, isn't it? I'm going to presume that's the Megalodon until I get told otherwise. Either that or it is genuinely a giant prehistoric shark rampaging around. Ow. Ow. Oh, hello. Amy, version 2.3, audio interface. Okay. Status online, communications active, security compromised, W1, heartbeat, heartbeat, heartbeat irregular. Status online, heartbeat irregular. 
It's got a heartbeat. That suggests it's providing it's not a just a, a turn they're using. That suggests Amy is alive, but also very much a computer. Do you reckon it's going to be sort of like an organic person, like hot wired via like some sort of neural interface? System report status: High alert. Colony access restricted. Officer on duty. Park R. Awaiting manual damage assessment. Everything's buggered. Okay, comm center terminal. Wilco, I'm at the hub. All systems are reading normal. I don't see anything wrong. Oh dear, that is distressing. Show your beans. I don't get it. It's like everyone just left. All is not lost, ma'am. There is another option. There is a device on this station called the Ambient Empathic Resonator, or AMBER. Ah. It will allow you to experience the environment through my sensors and interpret the anomalies directly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. I have no idea what you're talking about. It is a helmet. It will allow you to see the world as I do, in a sense. Matrix. Code. And how does that help? I believe the anomaly is to be empathic in nature. Empathetic? Like emotional anomalies? Indeed. As you know, artificial intelligence is incapable of fully automated interpretation of empathic data. My sensors cannot decipher it. Emotional analysis requires a human mind. Right, so where is this thing? Amber is currently in storage within the maintenance substation. I will grant you access. Which was that way. Okay, so... Androids can't feel. No matter how smart that AI is, which might explain why they perhaps have an organic mind hooked in, if that is what that is. What's this about service statuses? Hey, look, there's me, Rick. Well, apparently, I'm entry A1. What? Oh, I'm fine, apparently. I mean green text. Green is always good. Let's see what this terminal over here is. Atomic clock date. Oh. Well, either I've jumped incredibly far into the future, or that's my good. Security status breach. Doesn't surprise me. Location sector one. Biosan. Biosan. <laughs> Bioscan negative. Motion scan positive. Ooh. There's a security breach in sector one with no life signs detected. Yet signs of movement. I have to have to go to sector one. I should probably bear that in mind. I wonder if they have robots. They have AI, they could have robots. Local data analysis in progress, 47.53, status verifying system cache integrity and diagnostics. Weather analysis. Current weather. Brown. Storm. Uh, precipitation is 65%. Temperature error. High levels of empathic energy detected, which matches up with what Wilco was saying. Energy, what is all this about? I have another terminal as well. The Metro Times Solar X launches Colonial Initiative by Amity Jones. Natalia Malaviskai, CEO of the Solar X Corporation, announced today that the space station Remora was successfully deposited in orbit around Arcturus 3. Okay, we are eager to truly begin the project that has been our focus since the first migration. At last, we can begin work on a new home for humanity. According to the initial press release, Solarix has named the planet Ankara. Ankara. Hmm. And it bears striking resemblance to records of prehistoric Earth. Hence the naming conventions for Megalodon, things like that. Solarix intends to break ground on a settlement within six months and promises that humanity's finest minds will be overseeing the project known as Ankara Colonial Initiative. 
Okay, so this is Arcturus 3, presumably the Arcturus sector. And the station is Remora. So we are, in fact, in orbit. And this is Remora. That is what is now called Ankyra. Yet everyone aboard the Remora has vanished. Let's go get this headset. Oh, yes, button. Um... Um... I got stuck. I can't... Oh! Okay, no fall damage. They really need an extra safety rail. That could have been incredibly dangerous for me. Imagine if I got stuck on the one higher up. I wonder if I can. Nope. Nope, nope. I've got missions to do. Alright. Well, my initial impressions of this game are pretty high. I'm actually rather intrigued. I want to know what's going on. So on that front... It's working. I'm very curious to see how this plays out. Sector 3. The maintenance sector was over there, wasn't it? Alright then. Well, we'll check out the maintenance sector next time. Until then... I've been Rick. That's been a giant floating canister thing with two jets on it. And uh, this has been Devoid. So far, living up to its namesake. Don't forget to let me know what you think. Like, comment, dislike if you don't like. And hopefully I'll see you next time for another part. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.